In today's video, we're going to be covering all the brand new FNAF movie news, such as the plot leak for this film, casting updates, and more. And before we start this video, I just want to clear up that the PG-13 rating is not confirmed. Christian Stokes, the actor of Hank or Henry, made a Twitter tweet saying, I've been getting the question about the rating a lot lately. Truth is, nothing official has been announced. Also, a lot of things are said on set, people discussing the subject, just like we do here. It's not official whether it's R or PG-13. It will be great. Then he replied to someone saying, No, really. I don't know one way or the other. They haven't decided. They are still editing and they won't know until they get the movie together. It may not even get a rating until right before it comes out. So here's your answer. It's not rated PG-13 or R. You guys have been going crazy in my other video commenting your thoughts on this. And of course, guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. So the first piece of news that I have for you guys today is a plot leak. Somebody by the name of Ember made a tweet saying the FNAF movie doesn't take place in the 80s, only in flashbacks. Most of the movie will take place after the restaurant is already run down. We kinda already knew this with the old pizzeria set, as well as the broken down Freddy standing outside of it. She was even so kind to show us a balloon and fabric for this film. Obviously the fabric is probably used for the animatronics. And we can see this balloon scattered around the pizzeria during the flashbacks. Our second piece of news is that Raphael Luce, the actor of Young Vecna, is going to be in the FNAF movie. And he's likely going to be in some of the commercials. Raphael will appear in a training video for the restaurant that is shown during a flashback. It features a woman talking about how to operate the suits. For most of the film, the animatronics are going to be worn down and scary looking. We only see them in good condition during the flashbacks. Alright everybody, I'm going to wrap up today's video here. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave it a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new. Make sure to turn on the post notification bell so you guys are always notified when a new video or live stream comes up by me again. Stay safe, stay happy, take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out everybody! If you guys enjoyed this video, I have more videos like this, so click on the video on screen before it ends.